Alright everyone, hey there, we are live for the second VIP live call where we are going to talk about the book One Thing by Gary Keller. So we are going to have a small chat until everybody joins the live call. So you can leave a comment um, if you're watching this from YouTube or from my website. Uh, I mostly look at the comments on the website so if you don't mind you can join. Uh, we can watch this live call from puyaeti.com slash live. So leave a comment, say from where you are watching this, let's see uh, from where we have viewers today. And in a minute we are going to start our live call and start talking about a couple of good things we have uh, here. The book is actually very good and valuable, tons of amazing information and uh, we don't get the chance to talk about all of it in one session so we'll put part of it in the next one. So I hope that you have uh, got the book and uh, read at least a couple of chapters of the book because it's an amazing book. The first time that I read this book I it was it was, I think, about five or six years ago. It was pretty amazing. Okay, let me check here. All right, so see some comments are coming all right let's let's begin the live call so if you have looked at the book well the concept is for you to focus on one thing now let's get uh, more information what are the principles here how we can accomplish this what we have to do what we shouldn't do regarding this matter so we can become successful first of all uh, gary keller if you know him he he's one of the uh, one of the successful guys out there and this book uh, when it came out uh, it is still a bestseller and an amazing book so i strongly suggest you to read it if you haven't so the first thing that we are going to pay attention the first principle that exists inside the book is Pareto principle. Now, this principle applies on many things, but right now we are mostly focused on business. So, the Pareto principle says that 80%, 80% of the result that you receive is done only by 20% of what you do. I'm gonna repeat that. 80% of the result that you receive is done is delivered by only 20% of what you do so for example let's say uh, this is the result um, this is 100% and this is your work let's say you spend um, eight hours working per day so this is one hour zero hour to eight hours okay now this principle says that you receive 80 percent write it here 80 percent of the result um let me write this here this is the result okay and this is work is done only by something around here 20 percent right now you may ask why this happens why this principle this principle usually apply to most of us uh, if we are not extremely focused so when we're working we do a lot of other things that is it is not connected to the goal that we have it is not connected to the result that we receive uh, 
during the day, during the month, during the year, and so on. We do a lot of other things that they have no results. For example, two, three, three months ago, I started a project. Um, it was connected to my goals, but uh, I worked on it for a couple of weeks. I spent a lot of time and suddenly for some reason I had to stop it and all the work that I did is just standby, okay? So those work were here. I have done a lot of things, but I didn't get any result from it, right? So what the book is saying is if you try, if you can do this to focus on one thing, on your goal, which bring you the most result, you are going to increase that number. For example, let's say, uh, let's look at it from income perspective. Let's say you work eight hours a day, five days per week, and in a month, it's gonna be something around 160 hours, right? You work 160 hours, you get, for example, something like $10,000 monthly, right? 160 hour, $10,000 monthly. Now, what is the 20% of this is going to be 32 hour, right? So from this 32 hour, you are making $8,000 per month. Now, if you somehow be able to increase this 20%, what will happen? Let's say if you add another 20%, okay? What will happen? You are gonna increase this number to 60, $16,000. If you make it more, it will be more. This 32 hour, you can just do it in a week, right? Even uh, if you work eight hours a day, five days a week, you're gonna work 40 hours, this is 32 hours. So by becoming fo more focused on what you are going to do, what is your goal and what is delivering results, you can in increase these numbers. You can remove some of the work that you are doing and they're just going to waste. Uh, you don't re receive anything from it. So what I want you to do right now, I'm gonna give you two minutes for this practice. And uh, write, think about the main goal that you have for your business, for your life, whatever it is. Write the goal down. For example, for me, if I want to say that one goal is to improve the educational system, change the educational system, make it better, right? That is my goal. What is yours, okay? Because based on this goal, we are going to learn other things uh, in a minute, and we are, going use, we are going to use those strategies to increase this 20%, right? So I'm gonna give you two minutes, Think about it, leave your comment down. I'm gonna take a look at it, we're gonna discuss it. And also, you can take notes uh, so you have access to this information later, right? So I'm gonna mute it and we're gonna talk in, 20, in two minutes, right? Right.
Also, if there is any problem with the sound and with the quality of everything, just let me know in the comments. I will take a look at it. Okay, I'm still waiting. There are some, uh, there, there's about one minute delay from the time that I speak until you see things. So that is why the comments are a bit late. Anyway, um, let's see if we have anything here. All right, anyway, so if you don't know about your goal, that's okay. You need to think about it, what's your goal? in your business, what you are going to deliver, what you want to receive in the future. So that was about Pareto Principle. The next one, the next thing that we are going to talk about is the Domino Principle. Now, it's obvious, we're gonna talk about dominoes, right? So dominoes, every single domino, can, if they hit the next one, they can hit and drop twice their size, right? So if this is the first domino, they can hit and drop the next one with twice the size, they can hit and drop the next one with twice the size, and so on, okay? So this principle also applies in our life, in our work, in our business, According to the good things that you do, things that are connected to your goals, things that are helpful and positive, you are going to get this effect along the way, okay? Um, if I wanna go back, for example, five, six years ago, there was a time that I had a couple of roommates, and um, at that time, I was so much focused on my work, and suddenly, well, I, found my mentor, okay? I saw a video online, I find someone, and I started learning from that person. From that, I uh, learned a lot of new stuff. From those new stuff, I uh, got familiar with a new platform. From that platform, I started a new business. From that business, I started to make a lot of money. From those money, I uh, created another business, and it just went higher and higher, bigger and bigger, okay? The, the, the first step was so small, I just found someone online, right? Now the same thing is gonna happen in your life, in your own business as well. But it depends, are you going to do something good regarding your life, regarding your business or not? Regarding your goals or not? For example, five, six years ago when I was working so hard, my, uh, for example, I had a roommate he was spending most of his time playing uh, online games. He was spending most of his time partying, going out with friends, and he was enjoying his life, right? Since then, he's still here. We're still, still living in the same city. But the difference here is that he is right now looking for a job to make uh, $500 per month so he can live Mm, so so but for me I have my life changed a lot I started a couple of companies I have uh, I, am, I am financially independent and I received tons of things it's not comparable all because the domino effect all because the one good thing I did back then in six years ago and it started uh, to get bigger and bigger and bigger right so this is the next effect the domino principle, it will happen if you are focused more on your goals, okay? Do the things that are connected to your goals. Go to a seminar, go to uh, watch a course. You are obviously here, you are learning something good that can bring another good things in your life, right? So this is the second one. Let's talk about the next one. All right, so most people, have to-do list, all right? Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and 
um, they write down a couple of tasks, 10, 20 tasks that, all right, I'm gonna do these things regarding my business tomorrow, regarding my goals tomorrow, okay? The problem is that most of it, it's not gonna happen. And even some of them, they're not even connected to your goals. So basically, we are wasting the time. Now, instead of that, instead of to-do list, the book is, is suggesting to create a success list. Okay. Now, the success list is a list of 10 things connected to your goal. Okay, that is why I said here on the previous page, you must have your goal. Where is it? Here, you must know what is your goal in your life. What is your goal in your business? What, where do you want to be in five years? Okay, where do you want to be in 10 years? What do you want to have? It's not just about business. It can be anything. Maybe you want a good romantic life, right? So know your list, know your uh, goal. And regarding that, you have to create a success list. So you can do it right now. If you know what is your goal, you can write down 10 things that are connected to your goal, which we call it the success list. Now, when you're done with the list, when you prepare the list, instead of going to do, all right, um, tomorrow I'm going to do all of these 10, select only the two most important ones, okay? For example, let's say maybe it is this one and maybe it is this one, okay? Let me write it here. Select the two most important all right select the two most important tasks on the list and tomorrow start doing them these are the two these are the main things that are going to deliver those 80 percent result okay so this is how you are going to focus more on what you are uh, on your goals and what you are going to receive now one thing i tell you here most people think that, all right, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to leave the rest of my life out of the door. And uh, I'm going to just focus on this one goal until I get it. It's not going to be like that, okay? We are not saying that, all right, um, leave the rest of your life. Just focus on this one thing. Focus on making money. Focus on this one thing. It's not like that. The goal here is that when you focus on these two things, these two tasks, when you do them right the first time, you're gonna have a lot more time focusing on other things, on your own life, on your personal life, spending time with your family, with your friends, and also get the result that you want, right? So instead of working eight hours doing a lot of things, that most of it even, it's not connected to your goals, instead of doing that, work three hours, but three hours focused, right? focus on the main tasks that you have regarding your goals. So this is very important. Spend some time thinking about the list, thinking about your goal. It's gonna help you to be more productive in what you want to uh, receive during the next couple of years, all right? So if you have any comment, if you have any question uh, regarding the things that we are talking about here, leave a comment, I'm gonna take a look at them and we are going to start talking about the next thing and after that we are going to talk about the five misconceptions that you have to remove, you have to erase them from your mind, right? So these five things are very important and very helpful. Let me take a look at here to see what we have. Some of the comments just go to the bottom of the page, you don't see them. All right, so the next thing, let's see them, right. The next thing, which is very important, when you know these two things, there are a lot of things coming beside it, a lot of other tasks, all right? This was number three, right? A lot of other tasks, a lot of other things comes beside this. Hey, can you do this? Your friend may ask you while you're working. Hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? A lot of other things. Can you come to this place? 
can we do this at for example tomorrow at for example 2 p.m uh, when you are focused on your tasks you have to stick to them now it is important to say no this is important to say no to have the ability to say no i have my tasks i have to do them right i'm busy with them i cannot come to, to this place i cannot do this right now maybe later maybe tomorrow maybe after four hours okay but right now i am focused extremely on these two tasks now there are a lot of other things that is going to help you accomplish this as i mentioned it before there are five misconception that will help you to be more productive so the first one is you have to remove this from your mind okay the first one is multitasking now most people think that all right if i do multitasking it's a skill if i'm doing multitasking it means that i'm strong in what I'm doing which actually it is not it is wrong it happens hundreds of time during the day for every one of us we are working we are sending an email we are messaging with our, with our friend we are choosing a sign we're driving we're doing a couple of things at the same time these things are not helpful especially if you want to be focused on your one thing on your goal Okay, if you want to really get result, if you want to increase that 20%, if you want to increase that, multitasking is going to destroy it. So this is the one thing, one of the things that you are going to remove from your life, okay, from your mind. When you're working, focus exactly on what you are doing, right? When you are driving, drive. When you are watching a movie with your friend, with your family, watch the movie, right? Focus on that one thing that you are doing. When you multitask, you ruin all of the tasks that you are doing at the same time. When you're working on the project that you're doing and beside that you're going to send an email and beside that you're answering your friend on your phone, you're speaking on the phone, you are going to do worse on all of these tasks. Okay, That is why you have to remove multitasking from your mind. Now, uh, about multitasking, there is a, it's a huge topic especially in the book Scrum, if you read that book as well, it talks about multitasking and how bad this can be for your life and your work. Let's go for the second one. The second one is that people, let me write it here, habits. Most people think that successful people, they are more, they're very disciplined, to do things uh, they are preparing everything to the minute doing things everything to the minute but it's not like that actually it's not about having discipline if you want to become successful it's about habits now successful people use discipline to create new habits and it usually takes more than 60 days, okay? There are different numbers out there if you search one, the book, for example, the one thing says 61 day, uh, the Oxford research says 66 days. So anyway, it takes more than 60 days to create a new and good habit, right? If you are disciplined in the first 60 days, you are going to be able to create new habits. So remove this from your mind that all right, successful people, all of them are very disciplined. They're doing this, these things uh, on the minute and uh, I cannot do this. I cannot become successful because I don't, I'm not disciplined, right? You just need 60 days. You can push yourself forward with anything that you have. One of the strategies that I mentioned it about two months ago with my followers on Instagram is that when you want to form a new habit, it is hard the 60 days, especially the first 10, 20 days, 
is the killing time, right? It's gonna kill you. What you can do, uh, this strategy comes from the book Habits. If you have read it, it's an amazing book. book. If we get the chance, we're gonna talk about it into this live calls as well. So Habits in that book says that uh, there's a strategy for the people who want to quit smoking. So the strategy says that when you want to do, uh, when you want to quit, quit smoking, um, write a letter to your loved ones, write down there that I'm, right, I'm gonna promise that I'm not going to smoke again anymore. Give it to your loved ones, okay? Two, three, four, ten people, whatever. And this way, every time that you want to smoke, you remember that, hey, I promised my wife, I promised my mother, I promised my son, my father, okay? I promised my best friend, I promised my boyfriend, I promised my husband, okay? This way, you are going to stop yourself. Now, how you can apply this thing for your life using the tools that we have today? Well, Instagram, Facebook, these are a great tool. You can upload stories, or post that, hey, I'm going to form this new habit over the next 60 days and every single day I'm gonna post a new image or video about it. I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna post one story per day that, hey, I'm in the gym, I'm doing this, right? Until it gets to the 60 day. And you can mention it this way, for example, two from 60, three from 60. This way you are going to push yourself for a while to form the habit. If you have any question, write it down. I am looking at here, both of YouTube, right. Really wanted to be here, I need to have one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. I'm going to download the book Habit. All right, we can talk, you can send me a message. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, Aqua. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, you can send me a message, direct message on Instagram and we can have a one-on-one -on -one talk, all right? Um, I speak with most of my students on Instagram in direct messages with voice calls. It's easier. Anyway, so this was the second, the second misconception that you have to remove from your mind that successful people are disciplined. The next one is Willpower. Now, willpower is very interesting. There's another great book about it right now. I don't remember the name. It was willpower or something else. Willpower is very interesting. You can imagine it as a capsule of willpower. Let's say you have a cap. Every one of us have a capsule. Every day that we wake up, this is food. Uh, this is food, okay? This capsule is full and during the day when we use it, we are using from this capsule. And at the end of the night, at the end of the day, it almost has nothing inside it. So what will happen regarding this matter? When you are in this situation, it is much, much harder when your willpower is finished it is much harder to say no or do things that you have to do. So what is my suggestion here or what is the book suggestion here is to do the important things when your willpower capsule is full. Do the important task right at the beginning. Some people, when they start their day, they do some useless stuff during the first, for example, 10 hours and after that then they start to do the main important tasks, the, the things that really is going to help them and deliver results, and they can't do it. Why? They don't have any willpower left in them, okay? So it's actually interesting, it's a huge topic if you read the book Willpower or if we talk about it inside these uh, live calls, it's gonna be very useful. Let me take a look at the website to see if we have questions here. All right. So, 
The, num the next thing, which is number four, is called work life. Now, very little I mentioned it, I pointed at this item before. I think it was in multitasking. When you're working, work 100%. Remove everything, work. Right now, not only right now that I'm recording, that I'm live, uh, other times that I'm working, my phone is silent, I put it away, I, foc I close every messaging app on my computer, I focus at what I'm doing and my one thing. When you're enjoying your life, when you're watching TV with your family, watch the TV. When you're playing, play, right? When you're working, work hard. When you're playing, play hard. This is the next concept that most people usually, for example, they're spending time with their family, they're working there, for example, answering um, messages, uh, sending emails to their colleagues, to their employees. Well, I understand that sometimes you have to do this, sometimes you don't have any other choice, but you can manage it somehow that, all right, even though that I am home, I'm going to spend 20 minutes doing this work, which is important. I have to complete the task right now. And after that, let's play. After that, let's watch the movie. After that, let's eat dinner together. Let's go out. Let's go for a jog or whatever. Okay, so focus at, at whatever you're doing at the time. The next thing is to, number five, and the last one is dream big. Okay, dream big. I have to be like this. Anyway, now the thing that happens is that most of the time, our mind stop ourselves. All right, let's do this amazing thing, but no, I, I don't think I can do this. It's not possible. It's not possible to make, for example, $100,000 per month. All right, these three guys are doing it. Oh, these three guys uh, had this support from, for example, these places, or they have done this. I can't do this. So when you start to dream small, well, the result will be that, okay? When you dream big, when you want to be a, become a millionaire, if you dream that, if you go to work toward that goal, if you spend time every day doing one simple thing to get you closer to that goal, you will get there. In today's world, it is possible to have big dreams and get to them, right? Make a plan, get there. Before, maybe 200 years ago, 100 years ago, it wasn't possible. But today's, for what we have in today's life, in our lives, this thing is possible. And if anyone tells you you shouldn't dream big, they are wrong. Because when you dream small, you are going to just force yourself to go toward that small target. Something that it's not going to make you happy. All right, I'm just going to make... $2,000 per month, and that's all. I don't need more, okay? I'm gonna stick to that thing. And I'm just making an, the money as an example. Maybe you want something else. Maybe uh, you have different kind of goals, okay? It's not just all the time about money or business. It can be about different purposes in your life. Maybe you want to be a great uh, athlete, right? You want to select a sport and go and become number one. That's another thing, right? So dream big, it's going to help you. I remember it was those days, five, six years ago, I had, I printed a $100,000 bill and I put it on the wall next behind my computer. So every day that I was working, I was seeing that $100,000 bill. Now, at that time, it was a big dream for me, right? How I can make money that much. But today, when you achieve it, then you see, right, what's next? So when you have a big dream, uh, it doesn't matter how big, if you just walk toward that goal, you can get there, right? 
So, more or less that was all about what we had to talk about today. If you have any question regarding whatever you have in your life, your business, marketing, selling product, whatever you have, you can write a question down both in YouTube or my website. We can talk about your questions in the next couple of minutes. And where is it? Okay, here we are. Right. So I'm gonna wait for your questions. If you have anything, we can discuss it. If not, we are going for the next topic. So until you are writing down your questions, I'm gonna tell you about the next week and the week after that. So on the next week, um, next week, we are going to talk about the rest of the book one thing, right? There are more important information inside the book that I want to share it with you. So the next week we are going to talk about the rest of the one thing. So what I'm asking you, if still you didn't get the book, it's an amazing book, you can read it. We are not going to summarize the book here. We are just gonna take the good principles, take the good things out of it and combine it with the real life experiences and how we can change our life regarding that. So, the next, next week, we are going to talk about, uh, another great book, Persuasion, by Robert Cialdini, Cialdini, there are different pronunciations. Persuasion is an amazing book. We're gonna talk about it during the next two weeks. So if you can get these books, read a couple of sections from it, it's gonna be very helpful so you get, you be uh, familiar with what we have inside, what we're going to talk about inside the next couple of live calls, all right? So let me take a look to see if we have any questions. If not, let's end this session. Right, let me refresh the page. And another question that most of you asked me, the, all of these live calls will be recorded and will be available. After a couple of hours, four or five hours, I will add them to the VIP live calls. So if anytime you miss the live call, you can watch them later. But when you are in the live call together with me, uh, we are going to discuss a lot of things. Uh, you can ask your questions so you have that chance there as well. So, um, as we refresh the page, we don't have any new questions here. All right, so that was all for today's call and i look forward to see you on the next one you can send me messages here on my website or on my instagram we can have one-on-one -on -one chat or even on udemy right so that was all for today's call i'm so happy to see you here and on the next week on tuesday at 6 a.m gmt we are gonna have our third vip live call so that was all see you on the next one